Aries. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Although I like the moon signs the best, I think that they are the most accurate in regards to um, love stuff. So if you don't know your moon sign, look in the description box below. There's a link to some outside source that does your moon sign for free right there on their website. So anyway, you could also be watching this if you're into a single Aries, if you're trying to spy on them, see what they're all about, what their love life is like, or maybe you're jealous because they're your ex, that kind of a thing. So here we go. For the month of September, single Aries, how are you seeing yourself in regards to love? You know what you want. Well, that's good. <laughs> um, how are others seeing you? Whoa. Well, they're seeing you as decisive, so they're viewing you pretty accurately. Like. You know what you want, you know what you don't. Um, what do you need to avoid then this month? Basically, uh, knowing that you, <laughs> what you want. Um, they said, hoping for things though, like putting all of your eggs in one basket, like really hoping for something without viewing it in a realistic way. So for example, we are in a Mercury retrograde until September 5th, and then there's a shadow period that extends until the 15th. So if you're single and now you're like, oh, I want my ex back. I know this is what I want. I decided this. I'm hoping I can win them back or convince them to come back to me, whatever. You're failing to see that maybe it's not the best match. That maybe there's, um, that it ended for a reason, right? Or maybe you know that, but you're not realistic about what that'll turn out with. Whether or not it's about an ex, the energy is still the same. Now, here's the thing about general readings is um, it's going to be more specific and precise if it's a personal reading. So if this doesn't resonate for you, then it's not the video for you. But um, it's my belief that the people who need to see the videos do find them. <laughs> so um, anyway, it's saying what do you need to avoid this month is hoping for things without really thinking it through. Now, emotionally, you might have decided this is what I want, but if you're too specific, focused on like one specific person, that's going to be a problem for you. Or if you're saying, well, I really want these things, but you're not looking realistically as to whether or not those things are good for you, then that would be a problem. Um, because sometimes what we want is different than what we actually need. Okay. So that's a distinction to make. And so I'm going to actually add a few questions to your reading um, that other signs didn't get, but what is it that you think you want? And what is it that you actually need? Okay, so I feel as though a lot of you, um, this is probably about an ex, because it's like, I don't want to move on, right? I don't wanna move on either from this idea or from this person. Um, I don't want to start over basically. So, you know, in dating, it's like, I don't wanna to have to get to know somebody new. I'll just try to like fix this with this person that I already know. <laughs> Or it could be like, I don't want to give up on trying to attract, you know, this kind of a person that I've focused on. Um, I really have zero effort to open up my mind and reflect on actually what's good for me. So what do you actually need? You need to take the time to just sit on this for a minute and think about it when you have a more clear mind. Because right now you have a lot of stuff going on. There might be some things out of balance. Your finances could be out of balance. Your um, work-life balance could be a little bit jacked up. And they're like, you just don't have the energy in this moment to really apply due diligence to trying to bring that in. So um, what is it that you, oh, sorry, they wanted to say, you won't be disappointed if you just take this time for yourself. Okay, so what is it that you need to do in order to grow or increase you know, the likelihood of love coming for, in for you in the month of September? Um, they're like, you have to speak with loving words. <laughs> you have to be able to offer that. Now, not actually um, going out and physically offering love to somebody, like, but it's more like have loving communication. So this could be with the universe. You know, This could be expressions of gratitude. This could be with actual people. It's going to be different for everyone because it is such a broad general reading. But they're saying maybe you're not communicating so much in a loving way. Um, you're more communicating about what is not right like about what's wrong. So for example, if you're trying to win an ex back, you're talking a lot about the problems and less about what was good in the relationship and fostering those good things. Or for example, right now you're thinking about all of the things that you don't want, right? And therefore it's hard to draw in 
um, something that you do want, you know, it, because that's how law of attraction works. We put our energy out there, but we have to have feeling behind it. Like I am so happy that the right person is coming for me in the right time and actually feel the joy and the um, love for that so that it just like comes straight to us like a magnet. Okay. So uh, that's kind of what I'm seeing here is the best way to manifest that. But if you don't actually know what you want, <laughs> then at least at the minimum, stop ruminating on the things that you don't. Okay. So what is working for you in the month of September in regards to love? A soulmate connection, deep bonds. So it is possible that a lot of you are trying to make this work because you've already met a soulmate. You might be apart right now, but you're trying to draw them back in and that does work in your favor. Now, um, for the rest of you, it's just that they're out there. Now, it's saying though that these kind of things are not gonna change overnight and so you could get very, very frustrated that these things are gonna take time, especially if you have a damaged relationship that you're trying to work out. And so they're like, it, the concern is more that you don't wanna be single. It's not so much that offers of love aren't coming in, it's just that you don't wanna take them because you are very specific about what you want. It's just maybe you've gotta reevaluate, take some actual physical time and meditation or something, like go for a walk and, and think about though, like is this healthy? Is what I want actually the right thing for me? Okay, so what's working against you in the month of September in regards to love? It could be work, it could be money, it's anything like stability related, like of this world, earthly, possessions, jobs, routines, that kind of an energy. They're saying that um, it's not that help isn't available for you to take in regards to finding some balance with that or maybe you're moving jobs or moving home. It's just a lot at once. Um, it's almost as though it's like the help is there, you just either don't see it or you think it would be more work for you to actually have someone help you out. Now, they're like, you are strong, okay? And this is really not much to do with you. Um, it's just kind of an outside factor. And they're laughing because they're like, you know what? Typical. <laughs> Typical um, that this would happen and there would be some sort of discord or disharmony. But the challenge is not to get defensive about it and not to stay in things that are not good for you. Because some of us are inclined to do that to keep the peace. And, and that's what they're saying because it's actually not creating peace, it's just causing, it's just kicking the can of drama and bullshit and pain further down the road. And so that's what this Mercury retrograde kind of showed up to tell you. So you might not feel super positive until after the 15th of September, but it's not you, it's astrology, okay? Um, so they're like, this cycle just isn't over and like they were saying before, there's some things here that you're just not seeing. You know, with the moon card, it's like the moon is shining and so you can see some things at night, but you can't see the full picture. So it's not that anyone's lying to you necessarily. They could be. There could be things that are omitted, but it's just like you don't get to see everything super clearly until this time frame passes. So what are some lessons that you are overcoming in the month of September? And they say vision. No matter what you see, you need to see the bigger picture of a loving and just universe. So instead of focusing, remember how we were talking about this is what I want. Maybe the trouble with that is like this is what I want right now instead of thinking about the broader scope and the longer term. So I would encourage you to think about what do you want long term in general terms. Okay, so what is the overall, overall outcome for you in the month of September? And I get that you're going to use your mind and your intuition in combo to make some decisive actions, to actually take the steps that you need to. Now, um, hopefully you will be focusing more on the positive because you saw this reading and that's what we talked about as opposed to the negative. But you do have to understand that um, time does have to pass in order for things to kind of align themselves. But it's what this card is saying is that it's worth the wait. You know, here she comes to reap the rewards of her hard work and her apples are so much bigger than she expected. Like she was thinking she's gonna put all seven of these apples in this basket. Not even one of them fits. So it's kind of saying like, you know, even though she had to wait for them to get that big, it was worth the wait because they're way bigger than expected. Like the blessings there 
are huge. And when we're looking at number seven cards, sevens are a lot about like um, infinite possibilities. You'll see that a lot with the eights, but it's just like setting you on a new path where full of wonder and, and all of these different things. It's about newness. So it could be like a new way to do that old relationship. It could be a new person entirely that comes into your life. Yes, it's going to take hard work with all of the pentacles that we see, you know, for um, things to grow over time, but it's so, so worth it. So if you focus on the end goal and make the baby steps along the way, um, that would be in your best interest and you're going to bring in that love. So in the month of September, you might not see huge changes in regards to your love life, but you are going to start taking those baby steps towards that big end goal and it'll be so worth it if you do. So um, love and light. See you. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.